All right, guys. So the next article is from CNBC. If your parents are homeowners, you are more likely to be a homeowner, housing expert says, and here's why. Uh, homeowner parents are more likely to help young adult children with down payments, help them save money, and even show them how to achieve home ownership. experts say. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of par for the course. We've seen this, I don't know, time and time again. We see this commonly. We see a lot of gifts. We see a lot of people gifting so true. equity, cash, or well, ca- equity that's turned into yeah. cash to buy a house. Or in the case of a couple of your clients recently, just yeah. buying a place for their kids. <laughs> yeah, no, they, pay, they their purchased, uh, yeah, you know, we were in escrow for 875000 and dad does very, he's very successful in, in Mexico, Tijuana here, our neighboring city. And so decided, let me just buy. I need a tax write-off anyways. So I go, can you just put your daughter right there to get the best rate? She goes, no, I want to do this for my daughter because it's going to, I need the tax write-offs. So mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, let's do this. Yeah. We went in there, 875 property value came in at 830. Mm-hmm. And it was wow. okay. I'm okay. Yeah, he's like, I'm fine. It's long term, yeah. you know? Well, the house is cause, beautiful for my daughter. The, because the goal was to get her a place. Exactly. Yeah. And this, I remember you telling the story about the kind of dove, dovetails well weaves into the whole legacy component of, like, even our conversation with Sophia on uh, Friends of Mortgage Reels, like creating yeah. family legacy and then having that in your trust in the Correct. state and plan and all that. And, like, that's what he's doing. Exactly. It, listen, guys, when you have that experience, I think it's easier for a parent to want their kids to yeah. have that same experience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then since we see, okay, well, when we rent and we're paying all these rents, right? We don't see nothing in return. We have no tax benefits. We build no equity. Yes, we may have lower costs and stuff like that. But at the same time, there's nothing being saved for the future for us, right? Yeah. So as a parent, when we see that, okay, well, hey, I'm in a 30 year. I've been 15 years in the yeah. home. I owe 15 years left mm-hmm. and my value's here. I can help with some of that equity to go help, mm-hmm. you know, my mm-hmm. son, daughter yeah. get into and go through the same you know, cycle that I went through. No, and I feel like renting is more of that like instant gratification. It's done. Cool. I'm (laughs) done. And I have to worry about it. No headache. But then when you buy, you're getting that delayed gratification. Damn, the pipe went off. Oh my God, that's not working. But then you sell and you're like, it was worth it. Yeah, Yeah. because it was worth it. It was worth it. And it's so true, right, Brian? Like, let's take a look at this. So you're paying rent and you're paying rent for three years, right? You get out of that place what do you see from that money? Like, hey, what do you? Get? Thank you for being Nothing. a really good tenant yeah. and giving me your money exactly. all for the last three years. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna purchase a home. Three years later, I want to sell. I almost recuperate what I invested into that yeah. property. I may not recuperate all of it, let's just say, but I recuperate most of it, 10, and I 20, get taxes. 30, 40, 50, I get the yeah. benefit of my property taxes. I get the benefit of hey, it was mine. So there's different things. So yeah. I, I, that's why for me, I would encourage my kids, and I'll, I'd go through this. Like, you got to be a homeowner. Well, you have. Yeah. Uh, so in, I in, understand this. In this in this example, it you know says in 2023, about 23 percent of first time buyers used a gift or a loan from friends or family for the down payment of their That's house, it. according to the National Association of Realtors. Even if they are fudging that number to the upside, yeah. let's say it's still 20 percent or 15 percent. That's a considerable amount. It's statistically important. Yeah. Um, and then Zillow, their chief economist Scott Olson said um, that it's that 40 percent of first time home buyers source money quote from the bank of mom and dad. Mm-hmm. So um, not to dismiss the fact that people can save their own money and also, you know, do their own, let's say, um, benefit their own financial well-being. Yeah. But that the bank of mom and dad is stepping in to some degree to help out. And yeah. The, 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 um, the approval the requirements are also very, very low. You just have to be their kid. Um, they have to love you. They have yeah. to, you know, want to see you do good. And, uh, hey. Just do do your so, best, and that's sure it. We're not going to do a DNA test. I, there, there might be some sort of interest, but don't worry. You yeah. can carry that back, and you know, pay them never. And, and make sure you don't get excommunicated yeah. from your own family. Here's another misconception, guys. We always think that the gift's got to be from a family member, right? Oh no, an uncle, an aunt, or something. But we got a transaction where they actual their company actually gave them the down payment. Oh, because cool. they had a situation where they hey, we have enough funds that we pull together and on an annual basis we can give it to somebody who is an aspiring homeowner or whatever it is in yep. this case the company was able to give them the down payment you know so there's other ways yeah and i think the idea of the down payment and yeah in this in this position they're saying yes if your parents are homeowners that's true but again down payments can come from a lot of other Correct. sources um the 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 parental part of this i think is to the I think the main point of it was that inter- intergenerational wealth is created through real estate, uh, not, uh, and not and I'm not saying only real estate, but there's an association yeah. with home ownership and passing across and down intergenerational wealth, not just 401k plans, IRAs, cash savings, life insurance policies, yeah. that kind of thing. It's that home ownership and real estate is is part of that mix and a good healthy portion of that mix. Yeah, I remember growing up in La Jolla, we used to be like, it's because you're a trust fund baby. 
right? In La Jolla. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we used to talk to the right. kids from La Jolla and all that. It's because <laughs> oh, I have all this because I trust fun baby, right? I mean, but it is generational wealth passed on. Through. I once heard somebody say they grew up poor in La Jolla, and I was just kind of like, uh, hmm. hmm. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What is poor? Please, <laughs> please break that down. Elaborate that. Uh, my parents only made a uh, six uh, hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 did you eat at the Donald and Menu? Oh, Jack no. in a box. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I think that you know this. This are, this also goes on to prove something we talked about earlier, which is you know parents staying or sorry, adult children staying with parents in order to save down payment, plus parents gifting funds yeah. or equity into cash or whatever is the combination of efforts in order to achieve home ownership. Um, or the I efforts are just getting them out of the house, Andy. I, well, th- that well, that's true. <laughs> How do I become but, an empty nester well, here? But again, Bye. Let's, but again, hey, let's, go let's, build wealth. <laughs> let's think about this from Hello. let's think about this from from a purely legacy perspective. If you have the means and you are aware Sorry. of what's going on and you know what is, let's say you or not know, you believe what's best for your own children is for them to have their own place. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that too. Yeah. I'm going to be like, how can I make this work for yeah. each of them? <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of the things that uh, I was reading in the articles, and I don't know if it was this one or prior ones, um, but they said basically the, the the younger generation that's opting to stay at home with their parents are able to spend more luxurious, meaning that they mm-hmm. have that extra mm-hmm. money, right? I was thinking, and I don't know here, I'm just kind of throwing it out on the table, right? So consumer spending is still very high. I don't know what number or what population of these people that are living at home have very high paying salary jobs that are very comfortable at home that don't have to pay a big, you know, living expense a month. How much of those is attributed to them still being able to spend freely without them being able to pay that, you know, big, big uh, monthly uh, residual rent pay or mortgage because of the fact that they don't need to. Now, I'm just curious to see how much of that is actually fueling, you know, our consumer spending. Yeah. Well, I, I, it, I think it goes hand in hand with something we talked about earlier. Is like the money's just chasing things. Like every month, your money's being like competed for. Yeah. You know, it's it's the gas in your car, it's the food at lunch, it's the food at the shelf at the grocery store, it's the electric bill at yourself. Like nothing in my life has gone down in the last two years yeah. for cost. It's only gone up. And I'm not saying just volume of what I'm buying, just the cost to buy the same things. It's gone up or the size has gone down. And so, there's there's a huge uh, component of this where that's going to work for some people and not yeah. for others. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's just yeah. the bottom line. It's going to work for some people and it won't for others, irregardless of whether or not they're irregardless. That's not a, irregardless. Don't that's ask. Why you yeah. look at us Re- if that word is regard- right? Like, <laughs> regardless. Oh of, yeah, that sounded good. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> regardless of what the parental involvement or not involvement is when it comes to home ownership, yeah. it's just, you know it's the dollar just being chased after every single month yeah. by everything in your life. Competition for your dollar. That's yeah. it. And then at the end, it says renter parents may express more sour grapes about the idea of owning a home. Um, if you didn't do it, they're not going to talk it up. Um, and I brought it up. I'll bring up an example of uh, I was a psychiatrist or a psychologist that, that did an example on a, a, a two sons that had an alcoholic father. Yeah. One mm. of them had a horrible experience, said, I'm never drinking. I'm never going to be like my dad. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this, this and mm-hmm. that and show my family mm-hmm. that I'm this because of the experience that he had. The other kid was like, yo, I'm a drunk. This happened to me. Life's doing this because of the, my dad, the way that he was. That's why I am the way that I am. Mm, right now, the tale of the two brothers is that they are both came from the situ- same situation, but it prompted them to take two different uh, outcomes. Yeah. And I feel that, you know, that's still a big play in, in, in today. Yeah. If some people really want to buy a house, like, dude, my situation was horrible. I didn't have a house growing up. Like, I need a house and I want to have a house. Yeah. Others are like, yo, like, I don't know. I, it, I guess it's not for us. Yeah, It's and, personal agency. And I think it, the, the article did a really good job at, you know, tying it to your parents because, you know, that's your first line of defense when learning anything, you yeah. know. So if they didn't give you a good basis, anything after that, you're basing it off your, your primary years of learning. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. So I'm a good role model. Yeah, I, I love that. There you go. You I love that. We're dead. No, you love, you <laughs> love so in debt is other crazy. people's debt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, de- dead on me, but at the hands of someone else's. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you- although you know what, the only one here is. I mean, I love. I, I already told Dylan, you can live with me forever. He's so under the radar, so chill. <laughs> Ashton, how do we give you the down payment when you're done graduated? How do we give you hey, down it's, payment? It's already in your account. <laughs> uh, you're good. Just yeah, uh, it's earning interest. Yeah. Make sure. You- <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> and if you I'm need kidding, nothing, I'm don't kidding, need it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 